Joining me is uh, Edgar Street, Josh Gowning. A lot of frustrated, even angry Hereford fans after the performance today. What, what, how do you react to that game today? Well, they will be angry. We considered three goals at home, so I'd be angry. I am angry. So our problem at the moment is in possession. We give balls away in such bad areas that cost us the game. And they've cost us the game Saturday and they've cost us the game today. Because it, it, you can't really mitigate for individual errors. It, you're either good enough or you're not good enough. Well, I mean, the six goals we've conceded in the last two games have all been individual errors. So the first one and the other two, giving balls away in stupid areas. So our possession, when we're solid, we haven't got the ball, we're fine. But as soon as we start looking to play, our decision-making on the ball and the areas we give the balls away are really costing us at the moment. What can you do to change that and change it quickly? Well, we'll change it. We'll work. We'll, you know, we've got a, a system that we work on. We look at personnel, we've got a bigger squad now, so obviously we can look at that, but we've got to work on it and the lads have got to understand, you know, that they can't turn over balls. I mean, the, the second goal, we spoke about half time, where our strengths are, where we need to put the ball and we've waited, 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 it's turned over and they've scored from it. So those individual errors have got to stop and they've got to stop fast. Because such a good crowd today, being a bank holiday Monday, the fans were all out to try and support you and it, it just fell, fell flat. We didn't fall flat, we just, the fans are brilliant. They're always brilliant here. But at the end of the day, we've got to be better. And we've got to be better in possession of the football, without a doubt. You know, we had Ty, Aaron. I think we turned first half with Latte. I thought he did well. I thought he got off Aaron really well. But then all of a sudden, it's kind of like, well, that's working. So we'll do something else now because we've done that for a period. And then we start doing other things. And that's when the ball turns over and we start having problems. And you look at the second half, Ty's pulled off, you know, on the opposite fullback. And we just got to hit the ball to him. And then we play off that. And we don't. And we turn over and they score from it. So it's just... For us at the moment, we're going off script. We're not, we're not doing the things that, again, we went 1-0 up, we started the game well, and then we've made a mistake, and then all of a sudden we've had a bit of a wobble. So, you know, we've got to be strong as a group. We've got to have strong characters. We've got to get around each other more and just be a bit more ruthless with each other. Because with two up top, two powerfully built players, you, you want that ball in, pinging in and around the penalty area, I guess. Yeah, but, I mean, you look at the end, and, you know, Ty's nodded a couple down, Aaron's nodded a couple down, and you, you're looking at people to get on the end of things. That's what you're looking for. And at the moment, we, we just weren't. We didn't get on the end of things, and there's too many balls. I think there's a couple in the second half that flash across the six-yard box, and you want someone to tap one in there, and, and we haven't done that. So, look, the lads are disappointed. I'm disappointed. I'm angry. They're angry. And we've got to come back stronger. It's not often we go back-to-back. And we have done that, and we've conceded six goals in, in, in the space of two games, which I'm not happy about, the defenders are not happy about, and it's things we've got to work on. Really lengthy stoppage injury to Brad Way, the Hereford keeper. What's the latest on that? Yeah, it didn't look good. I mean, the save was unbelievable. Um, you won't see a better save than that for a long time. But I, I think the goal's got in his way of his, his, his momentum. So I think he's caught his, I think it's his elbow, uh, the wrong side. He's in a lot of pain, so obviously we're going to have to look at that. We've obviously got a game front Saturday. Um, we obviously love going to Afton and not having a keeper, so... Um, he's probably not going to be fit for Alfton, so that's something we're going to have to look at and, and get sorted. But I said to the lads there, I'd have 11 of him. He's done his shoulder, he's done his, his elbow like that, he's strapped it up and he's gone with it. And we need to have more grit and desire like him to go and get a result and win a game of football. Yeah, I mean, that will certainly be needed at Alfton, right? Well, 100%. That's, that's the way they've Yeah. Uh, for, for me at the moment, we've, there's two teams that have had more desire to pick up on the second balls in the last two games. So we've got to have more desire as, against an Alfton who is a complete long ball, second ball team to have the desire to pick those things up and, and win new, new individual duels. And that's what we need to do. And the, and the lads have been told that, they know that. So we've got to go into training Thursday and, and work on it and, and make sure we start putting these errors to bed. Skipper Jared Hotchkiss not involved today. What, what's the position there? He's 35 and he's played two games. Well, he would have played, if, if he played today, two games in, in 48 hours. He's just not, the body's just not there to do it. So um, again, we had Latty and I thought Latty was absolutely, I mean, he got man of the match today, didn't he? So he was absolutely first class got forward up and down well, he, 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 he was brilliant. So it just shows the, the kind of strength we've got in that area and he can play both sides, which is obviously pleasing for us. You gave uh, Holloway, Marty Holloway, his first start at Edgar Street. Yeah. Uh, first of all, how do you think he's played? And also, did he pick an injury up? No, he, I mean, he hasn't, he hasn't played a lot of football. So um, he just started to feel tight, tight in his calf again. So obviously we, we made that change. Obviously you can see his qualities with the goal just backed in, turned to a ball and finished and I, and I just thought he bullied their, their, their left back all game. But we didn't get around him enough. I don't think we played off him enough um, to really show the impact that he can make. So it's something we've definitely got to work on. Our midfielders got I mean, We played a sitting midfield in two eights to get off Aaron and Tyre and we just didn't get off him enough. I thought we dropped a bit too deep to get the ball, our midfielders, rather than you know looking a bit longer at times and then getting off a second phase. So 
look, there's areas, I've said it along when we win two on the bounce, now we've lost two on the bounce, I've said there's going to be dips along the way. We're a new squad, there is going to be dips. I'm not happy, of course. You know, I know where I want to be. And those performances in the last two games are not where I want to be. So I understand why the fans are frustrated, but stick with us. You know, we've been here before. Last season, we had 10 games without a win and we turned it around and, and we went on, went on to come on the ride with us. We're a better squad than we were last year. I understand the frustrations. We've had, what, how many games have we had? Five games and we've got seven points. Seven more points than we had or six more points than we had last year. So at the end of the day, stick with us, get behind us because they're a good bunch of lads and we'll get it right. Thanks for your time. Cheers, thank you. Cheers. Good.